winds over it. Out the back, Bailey takes on Bergman, gets away from him. Danger time for Port Adelaide. This guy is magnificent. Caught in the air a bit short. Harris has got the lead and run and jump into it. Into the pocket at Sales. So too does hit with Bailey. Already kicked an absolute blinder. Chance again. One way, then the other. Floats it to the top of the square. Who's at home? Charlie flies. So too Fletcher. Danaher did well. Extracted the footy, then just worked it down the line. Williams handball intercepted. Still a chance here. Rayner clobbered by Farrell in the end. Hasn't missed a game this year. He's found a way to kick 20 goals. He's curled it. He's curved it. That is superb. Lions have three. Rayner gets his first. Umpire lets the bounce go. And Drew sends it deep. Marshall at the back. Ball comes to ground level. Going through Lord like a rover around the body. Oh, what a goal. That'll spark him. Lysett and McInerney tangle up. McInerney to the front, takes possession. Fell into the arms of Houston. Smothered. Fletcher towards Denneher, playing in front. Horn Francis, another Fendi. Takes on Cameron. Cameron grabs a hold of him. He gets boot to ball. Payne. Caught by Rioli. Must have got a hand pass out. Lord, bananas. He's already kicked one. He might have kicked two. Oh, Lord, they needed that. Twelfth game, first final, having a good night, keeping Port in touch. Rosie to Horn Francis, Charlie Cameron, big tackle. Rayner, Dunkley, back to Rayner. Rayner from 55. Is this the perfect response? Bang! Kick partially smothered. Dersma clean through the traffic. Houston feeds it forward. Drew closed down. Worked out okay, though. Fed forward by Wines. Rosie kept on running. He's kicked a full forward. Lord again. This young fellow's having a real impact for Port Adelaide. Drew and Butters. Butters towards McEntee and Pal Pepper. Pal Pepper marks. Finlayson on the lead. He goes longer than that because Marshall's all on his own in the pocket. By far his toughest shot. And of course, he puts it right through the middle. Here comes Port Adelaide. More wrestling goes on in the ruck contest. Zorko bursts through, taken off it by Jones. No free kick. He put tackles up with McKenzie. McCluggage, Rayner. Rayner breaks one tackle, uses his left. He's strong, he's bold, he's brilliant. McInerney ready to engage in the Greco-Roman wrestling that they've been part of all night. McInerney punches towards the goal square. Neil peels for a free kick. Rayner strong as always. McCluggage again. Out the back. Zorko off a step. He only needs one step. Dane Zorko. Little moments off the ball. McCluggage has been excellent. Butters hot on his heels here. Drew feeds it forward. Rosie towards the 50. Goes to the top of the goal square, coming out pain. Belts it away, rove by Rioli. That is his bread and butter. What a start from Port Adelaide. Rayner has options inside 50. Goes very long in the Danaher direction. Up goes Cameron. There's a free kick holding play on to advantage. And the goal has been kicked by Jasper Fletcher. His old man kicked a couple of goals in seven finals. Jasper's got two. We've only just started the second half. Again, they go forward. This time, Charlie Cameron. 34-14. He adds one in his 200th. Charlie did lose his body really well. Just when John Denver's royalty payments look like going down, Charlie <laughs> pops up. And another clearance for Brisbane. McCarthy trying to get busy. Here's Charlie again. Cue that song back up. <laughs> Exerting his influence in a very significant way. Archie sets himself in front of the pack. Got a hand to it, couldn't take the mark. How about Joe? It's your go. Brisbane on a tear. Chance for Rosie here. Back towards Wines. Cleverly to Drew. Drew heard the call. Horn Francis. Top of the square for Horn Francis. Knocked away by Harris Andrews. 
Fall of the ball, Pau Pepper. Wines, Pau Pepper again, floats it over the top, Burn Jones, Burn Jones, check side. That's some sort of a finish. Back to 22. Has two for the night. Finlayson couldn't roll onto his left. Rosie from 55, it's long, is it straight enough? On the line, Lord. Lord will line up for his fourth. He'll kick it now. Bouncing ball for Rayner to deal with. He's dealt with everything tonight brilliantly. Sweeping handball, McInerney. Berry just had to wait a moment. Into the pocket, McCarthy. Andrews tackled by Lord. Proud one in the back, Dunkley. Along the ground, creative to McCluggage. McCluggage goes towards Danaher on the lead. What a glorious kick. Burton in the corridor. Durs with the kick hangs in the air. Fletcher read it. Now the counter attacks on. Fletcher to Cameron. Hip would burst in towards goal. This will hurt Port Adelaide. He doesn't know what to do. He's told to play on by the up. Just go on and kick it, Eric. And he does with a sheepish grin. Taken at 12 in last year's draft. Born in Victoria. Moved up when his old man took a coaching job here. Neil drives it forward again. Danaher. He can use Hipwood might now. No, goes himself. Bounces it through. They are on a roll. And the Gabba is on its feet. Has it knocked away by Robertson? Now an opportunity for Zorko. Loves to kick a goal. Puts it to a dangerous spot. Guess who? Jasper Fletcher. Wheels around. Kicks another. Thank you, Abby. Bailey. Oh, it might be party time. Lions fresh on the ground. Says, I've been waiting all night for this. Butters slips one through to Trent McKenzie, who drives it to Pal Pepper, sliding into Mark directly in front. Rosie Houston. Drew. He's done his job. Top of the square, the ball sails towards. Here's a chance, Pal Pepper at speed. Can he finish? Looks pretty good. Over the umpire's hat. You don't even go across the ground at an angle. You go straight across the other side. <laughs> Works smart or not. <laughs> he lines up. And he gives the Gabba fans reason to cheer. They'll leave tonight with... Big dreams. McCarthy inside. Lockie Neal looks about. How do they finish the evening? It's a short ball. Charlie in his 200th. That was to win a game, hey? This one's been won for a while, but lovely moment. Wait for Country Road. Thanks, Mr. Well, not quite the theatre we were hoping for. Charlie misses. But not for the first time this year, the power has gone out at the Gabba. The Lions have earned a home prelim final, and the power have a date on Saturday night with the Giants.